hand that destabilises the aero. Here we go, Wind Cup, you're right. Mark, he's on him at the final corner. That could be the spot. And Jamie has been rack racking up curve hops. He's using up what he's got left over the last couple of laps. If you're Scott, you've got to run straight through. Run it straight through. Yep. Did he get one? No, he still didn't. You just drive it across there. An extraordinary drive from this 20-year-old holding off the five-time series champ who's at the peak of his powers. <laughs> the ride control of that Red Bull car under brakes in turn four there was really impressive. He's right on the rear bumper of the Volvo. These guys playing for keeps. Look at Wind Cup. He's all over the back of this thing. He's got to get an exit here as they make the run to seven. If he's off here cleanly and he can harass McLaughlin, he has. his chance may come when they get down to turn nine. This is the moment. He's closer now on the run to eight. This is what he's got to do. Let's watch, listen and learn. Nothing in it. Move it over, Scotty. Bit of well anything. Done. McLaughlin can hold his ground there and Wind Cup is at the absolute edge of the breaking performance. He goes wide. No. He's trying to get underneath him. When they get to 10, the crowd reacts. This is fantastic. Wind Cup up the inside. Brilliance. Well done, Scott McLaughlin and Jamie Wincup. That's as tough as an exchange gets. He may have given Jamie Wincup a little bump then. Hey, Gary. Gary Rotley wants to give his boys a cuddle. <laughs> You know how tough this game is, better than anyone, mate. What a spectacular effort by both your team and your driver. It was, it was. I mean, it's tough, Clarko, you know, but just, he never gave up, mate. <laughs> Look at you, mate. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Really happy for you. Fantastic. Tears yeah. in his eyes. Gary loves a fighter. And he's got a true one in Scott McLaughlin. Now let's take a look at this final turn. So Wing Cup's got him. They rub panels. Scott goes on the inside. Wing Cup just went wide by himself. And McLaughlin put the hammer down to get second position. Great job. Wow. No bump and run in that. No, no drama at all. Look at this, this, guys. This is unbelievable. How Scott McLaughlin did not end up in the fence on the exit of that turn. I'll never know. But Jamie should be complimented for that Absolutely. because he could have fed him in. Absolutely. Great exchange. Brilliant motor racing. Total respect. They gave each other space. And that's as good a contest as you'll see. Look oh. at that. McLaughlin had the thing <laughs> wheel spinning and tail wagging in second gear when he came off turn 11. And watch this. He positions back on the race line. That's where the grip is. Traditional line. Makes the apex. Jamie picks up the throttle and slides it. And Scotty gets one. How's that? He's no Sunday Volvo driver. He's a Saturday Volvo racer with a hell of a fight. But congratulations to Craig Lowndes and Jeremy Moore. So Red Bull Racing deliver a one-two punch in terms of victory. And this huge crowd, 80,000 people here today. They've seen a, well, another classic. Lowndes, who won the first race here in 1999, now has six race wins at this circuit. And this will be emotional. And the Red Bull team are out there to applaud Scott they, McLaughlin as well. They did. All of pit lane were doing this. This was just a fantastic reaction from the industry for Gary Rogers Motorsport and Scott McLaughlin. Well done, Lounsey. Yeah. 95 race wins now. <laughs> He goes over to congratulate Scott McLaughlin because we appreciate the enormity of what he has achieved. But congratulations to you, Craig Lowndes. I mean, that's why you are the champion. Uh, mate, tremendous effort. You end day one as the championship leader. Nice way to start this year. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Uh, yeah, look, yeah, it was great to have the first uh, race out of the way. We had a great one, too. I was actually watching the big screen, watching these two guys going out at Hammer and Tong. So uh, luckily I had a bit of a buffer. But uh, look, credit to the guys in Red Bull. It's, uh, we made a few tweaks over uh, you know, between races. 
The sun was a little bit of a worry for about five laps, but then, of course, it disappeared behind all the, uh, the buildings and away we went, so uh, what a day. Those tweaks all set for tomorrow now? Oh, look, for sure, no doubt, and uh, we've obviously got to think about a longer race, not just the sprint races, but, uh, you know, the boys will do a fantastic job. We've got a car in one piece, so, look, it's all looking good. But I just going to say hello to Levi and Chili at home. It's looking good. Good on you, lads, and congratulations. Hey, come with me now, folks. Let's catch up with this guy as he embraces his team, Scotty McLaughlin, and it's been a remarkable result. And uh, as he just catches up with Richard and the crew, Scotty, that was incredible. That is going to be one of the great moments of the year, and you've nailed it again. Well done. Holy cow. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, nah, seriously, my boys, man, um, I can't thank them enough. It was amazing. Richard, the crew, all the fans, you guys are playing the Volvo jokes, but I guess they're gone now. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, thanks, guys. And, um, mate, this is, I've never been this happy second. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> now, just take us through the emotions for you. You're on the last lap. You've got Jamie Wincup on your tail. He gets by you. Yeah. What happens then? Oh, I was an idiot. I, I slowed down too much. So I, uh, I should have blocked him a bit better, but he got me, and then we went side by side. It was pretty good racing, and I don't know what happened on there. I, I just plucked her in first and gave some gin. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, we understand there's a level of excitement, Scott. Sorry, sorry. Sorry to all the little kids out there. <laughs> but congratulations, Adam. And what a way to kickstart your team. What a way to bring Volvo into V8 Supercars. Volvo, Polestar, Valvoline. Thanks, guys. Um, Hopefully we got more of this. Yes. Awesome duel, mate. Congratulations, Scotty. We'll see you on the podium. And, of course, Jamie Wincup, who was right there throughout it too. Jamie, awesome. That was an amazing duel you gave us. We, we were riding with you guys all the way. Uh, credit to Scotty, but great effort by you as well, mate. Yeah, I, I suppose the crowd's happy. That's the main thing. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, that's what this sprint format's all about, going hard. And, um, yeah, it went hard to the end. Scotty did a great job. He were uh, hard and fair. Well done. We'll see you on the podium. Good on you, Jamie. Thank you. Cheers. Race two of our year, and would you please congratulate the winning drivers from our second race of the V8 Supercar season. In first place for Red Bull Racing Australia, Craig Lowndes. In second spot for Valvoline Racing GRM, Scott McLaughlin. And in third place for Red Bull Racing Australia, Jamie Wincup. Making the presentation to our, or receiving the trophy, I should say, on behalf of the winning team from Red Bull Racing Australia, Jeremy Moore. Presenting the third place trophy is Mr. Andrew Ford, the chairman of South Australian Motorsport Board. Presenting the second place trophy is Mr. Jeff Timms, Director of Sales, Clipsal by Schneider Electric, our major sponsor. <laughs> Presenting to the winning team is Mark Warren, the Chief Executive Officer of the South Australian Motorsport Board. And making the presentation of the first place trophy is the Honourable Leon Bignall MP, the Minister for Motorsport. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 V8 Supercars Clipsal 500 Adelaide race two winners. Another stellar drive from Craig Lowndes. Another gripping race. This season is alive.